when I watched it and I seen him laying on the ground and I just, I knew. A video posted to social media is how Ida Marie Southern said she found out Sacramento police shot and killed her brother, Jeremy Southern. Yeah, I can't get those images out of my head. The shooting occurred Tuesday in a quad area of the Crossings, an apartment complex that houses many Sacramento State students, including the friend Jeremy was allegedly visiting with at the pool before heading inside. The pool is in the center of the property, not visible at all from the street. So that means the cops were on the property and we don't exactly know why. Police say they were looking for a suspect from another shooting and that this suspect believed to be Jeremy fit the description because of tattoos. A video taken by a witness appears to show the man believed to be Jeremy Southern pointing a gun at officers off screen. Sacramento police say one officer discharged their rifle at least once, but witnesses and Jeremy's sister have questions around a second shot being fired. His gun flew a couple feet away. There's a video he started to stand up, but he could barely move and they shot him again. The first shot, if he had a loaded gun pointed at them, which it shows in video and pictures, mm -hmm. then I can't get mad at the first shot because everybody knows if you point a gun at the cops, what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. But the second shot should have never happened. My brother should still be alive till this day. The attorney general's website shows Jeremy Southern had a past record of lewd acts with a minor, coercing a minor for obscene matter, as well as a felony incarceration for these. My brother went through well, we all went through so much traumatizing stuff. Ida also said Friday would have been Jeremy's 23rd birthday. We reached out to Sacramento police for more information on this deadly shooting. They said since it's still under investigation, they cannot release any more details at this time.